Number 11, letter A. What is the fluid speed in a fire hose with a nine centimeter diameter carrying 80 liters of water uh, per second? Okay, so uh, for letter A, we're asked to find the speed, right? And we know speed is velocity. So we wanna basically, most of the time we want velocity in meters per second. Now, um, given the information, right, we have the diameter, diameter of this hose. Now, you know a hose is, is a cylinder, right? So they're telling you the diameter because they basically want you to calculate the cross-sectional area, right? So here's the cylinder, and here's the little cross-sectional area, right, that represents the, uh, I don't know, cross-sectional area. And um, what we realize is that it's a circle, so that's why they're telling us the diameter here. So they're saying that it's a nine centimeter diameter. Right? If I wanted to find the radius, just simply divide this by two. So I'm just gonna change that D to an R. Now, um, the thing is though, right, this is gonna be in terms of then centimeters. Uh, most likely we're gonna need this in terms of meters, right? So this just simply works out to be uh, 4.5, zero centimeters. But again, I need it in terms of meters. So just move the decimal two place to the left, or you can also just divide this by 100, it doesn't matter. But we, we know we're gonna get then 0 0.0450, right? So let's just erase all this now. Let's just plug that on in. So 0 0.0450, and this is meters. All right, so that was simple. Then they're also telling us the volume uh, of water per second. And they just, so remember, anytime you're dealing with volume of water per second, you know that's Q, that's a volume flow rate. And they told us that it's 80.0 liters per second. But we probably, since I want right my velocity in terms of meters per second, I need to get rid of the liters and get meters in there somehow. And so I can simply just convert this right now, liter on the bottom, cubic meter on the top, right? This is a volume, so you gotta have a volume up here. And we know that for every 1,000 liters, there's one cubic meter. So we can see that we can just move this decimal three places to the left, right? So this is simply going to be now 0 0.08000, all right? So let's just plug that in. So 0 0.0800, and this is now cubic meters. And now we have basically, oh, don't, that's per second, right? And now we have everything we need. So here we go. Q is equal to V over T. Solve this thing for V. So therefore it's gonna be Q times T. And now all we need to do is plug in the values, right? And uh, what am I doing? What am I doing, guys? I ah, just seen if you're paying attention. That's what happens when you start to go too quickly. You get a little too confident. It's this formula we gotta use. So Q is equal to A times V, right? Don't worry about it, just forget that even happened. Uh, so now we gotta find the volume, right? So it's gonna be Q over A. Now we can plug in Q, that's 0 0.0800. The area, as we said, it's a circle, so it's pi r squared, so it's pi multiplied by 0 0.0450 squared, and voila, here we go. All right, so that's it, guys. Don't worry about making mistakes. As Bob Ross would say, there's no such thing as mistakes. There's just happy accidents. So this is gonna be 0 0.08 divided by now pi times 0 0.045 squared. So this is 12.6, so this is 12.6, um, 12.6. 12.6, and this is now uh, meters per second. So there you go. So that's the answer for letter A. Now let's take a look at letter B. It says, what is the flow rate in cubic meters per second? Um, see, isn't that great? We did it already. Here's the answer for letter B. All right, so B is this answer. Yeah, I love questions like this. And then letter C. Would your answers be different if salt water uh, replaced the fresh water in the fire hose? Well, think about the equations we used. Think about everything we've done here. Did it even matter that it was, I don't even know what, what was it? Uh, water, I, yeah, water, right? I don't, I don't remember what it was. But it doesn't even matter what the fluid is flowing through the tube, assuming it's an incompressible fluid. All right. Um, so... Again, the only difference between real water and salt water will be its density. Density doesn't show up at all in any of the calculation we've just done, so the answer for letter C would be uh, no. It wouldn't change. It wouldn't be different. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Hope this video helped. Please remember to subscribe. We'll see you next time. Take care.